in the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful. Hadith Sagalain It is mentioned in Basha Aretol Mustafa, through the Bakris and Umari sources, from Rafat, a freed slave of Abu Zargifari, Ramatola Ale, that he said, I saw Abu Zar clinging to the wall of Kaaba and saying, The one who knows me, knows. But who does not know me, may know that, I am Abu Zar Gifari. I have heard from the Messenger of Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alaihi wa salam, that the man who will fight with me for the first time, and on another occasion fight with my Ahlal Bayt, Alaihi Masalam, will be, on the third occasion, made by Allah to rise with Dajjal, on the day of his appearance. Doubtlessly, the example of my Ahlal Bayt, Alaihi Masalam, among you, is like the Ark of Nuh, Alaihi Salam, that is, who boarded it, got salvation and those who turned away drowned. My Ahlal Bayt, Alaihi Masalam, is like the gate of Hitta or the gate of repentance of Bani Israel. Whoever entered that door got salvation and who did not enter was destroyed. Sheikh Tusi, Ramatola Ale, has narrated this tradition in a number of ways from Abu Zargifari, Ramatola Ale, and, in some narrations, these words are added, the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alaihi wa salam, said thrice, have I conveyed the message of Allah? Sayyid ibn Tawuz has, in Taraif, narrated from Musnad of Ahmad ibn Hanbal that, Abu Sayyid Qadri says that, the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alaihi wa salam, said, I am leaving behind me two very weighty things for you. So long as you will remain connected with them, you will never go astray after my departure, and they, that is, the two things, are heavier than one another. One of them is the Book of Allah and it is a rope which hangs from the heavens to the earth, and the other is my progeny, my Ahlalbait, Alaihimas Salam. Doubtlessly they will never be separated from one another, until they come to me at the side of the pond of Kausar. He has also narrated from Ahmad that Israel ibn Osman said, I saw Zayd ibn Argam in the house of Mokhtar. I asked him, Did you hear this Hadith Sakalain from the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam? He said, Similarly. Ahmad has narrated from Zayd ibn Sa'abit that the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam, used to say, I am leaving among you two great things who are my successors among you after me, one is the Book of Allah, which is a rope extended from sky to the earth, and the other is my progeny who are my Ahlalbait. Surely these two will never separate from each other, until they reach me at the pond of Kausar. The Sheikh Saduk, and Ebni Batrik, have also reported, these traditions in Kamaladeen, and Al-Amda, in this same manner. Similarly, Sayyid ibn Tawuz has, through Bakari and Umari, or self-called Ahli Sanat sources, quoted from the book Jami'ul Yusul, which is the most reliable book of that time, and the said Sayyid has quoted from the original book. It is reported from Yazid ibn Hayyan that he says, I and Hussein ibn Sabra and Umar ibn Muslim went to Zayd ibn Arkham. When we sat down near him, Hussein told him, O oh Zayd. You have narrated many traditions and have also seen the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alaihi wa salam, with your eyes, and also heard his words, and have waged jihad with him, and have offered prayers behind him, and have met him many times. Please tell me those traditions that, you yourself have heard, from the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alaihi wa salam. Zayd said, O oh my nephew, by Allah, I have become very aged, and a long time has passed, since I was with the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alaihi wa salam. I have forgotten a number of traditions, which I had heard from him. So, accept whatever I may now narrate to you, and do not put pressure on me about what I may not narrate. Then he said, One day the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alaihi wa salam, rose up before us, and gave a sermon on the bank of the pond Qum, situated between Mecca and Medina. After praising Allah, 
he gave some admonitions, and reminded us of the hereafter, and said, O oh people! I am also a human being. Very soon my Lord will call me to him. That is, the angel of death will come, so I will respond to the divine call, and go away from this world. Doubtlessly, I am leaving behind me for you, two great things. One of them is the book of Allah that, has guidance and light, nor. So adopt the book of Allah, and hold it. Then the Hazrat encouraged and inspired us to act according to the commands of the Holy Quran, and then said, The other thing is my Ahlalbayt, Alaihimas Salam. Then, he said thrice that, I am asking you to remember Allah in the matter of the rights of my Ahlalbayt, Alaihimas Salam, that is, never give them any trouble, and observe their respect, and never usurp their right of being the Imams. Hearing this, Hossein asked, O Zaid, who are his Ahlalbayt? Is his wife not included in his Ahlalbayt? Zaid said, Of course she is from the members of his house, but here Ahlalbayt means those persons for whom alms, Saidaka, is impermissible, Haram. He asked, Who are they? Zaid said, They are the progeny of Ali, the progeny of Akil, the progeny of Jafar, and the progeny of Abbas. Hossein asked, Is Saidaka Haram for all of them? Zaid said, Yes. Zaid made here a mistake, and that Ahlalbayt, Alaihima Salam, specifically means Malana Amirul Mamanin Alamam Ali, Bibi Fatima and the eleven sons or imams of their offspring, who are close relatives of the Holy Prophet, Salal Aho Alaihi Va Alaihi Va Salam. It is also possible that Zaid might not have erred, but the copiers of his traditions, who have been the Bakari and Umari scholars, might have, due to love for Ali Abbas and others, included them themselves. Similarly, this subject has been narrated, with little variance in Jami'ul Yusul, and all other books, and Sayyid has reported it from some, in some ways, from Ibn Maghazali Shafi that, the Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Va Alehi Va Salam, said, The time has arrived, when I will be called in the Holy World, and I will respond that call. Verily, I am leaving behind me for you two things, one is the Book of Allah, which is a rope stretched from the sky down, to the earth, and my progeny, which is my Ahlalbayt, Alaihimas Salam, and the omniscient Allah has informed me that, these two will not separate from one another, until they arrive to me on the Haas Kothar. So, just ponder how will you act regarding these two. Likewise Sayyid has, in Fazayat Yalal Quran, narrated from Ibn Abi Duniya that, the Holy Prophet, Sallal Aho Alayhi Va Alayhi Va Salam, said, I will reach the Hauzi Kausar ahead of you, so that I may make provision for you. So, when you will arrive, I will ask you about the two weighty things, Sagalin, as to how did you act for me regarding them. The narrator says that, they could not follow what was meant by Sagalin, until a migrant got up and said, O Messenger of Allah! May my parents be sacrificed for you, what are Sagalin? The Hazrat said, The greater of them is the Book of Allah, one end of which is in the hand of Allah, and another in your hands. So, keep holding it fast, so that you may not err and so astray, and the thing smaller than, it is my progeny. Those from them who remain in the direction of Qiblat, and may accept my invitation, should not be killed, nor should they be cheated, because I has asked for a thing from the omniscient and omnipotent Allah, which has been accepted by him, and it is that these two weighty things, may come to me on the Hausi Kausar, jointly like this. The Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Va Alehi Va Salam, joined his two fingers, and Allah has told me that. O Messenger! The one who helps the two, is the one who helps you, and those who degrade them, are those who venture to degrade me, being the enemies of the two. O people! No community before you had been destroyed, but for acting upon their selfish desires, who had helped one another in harming their prophet, and who had killed those who were issuing just orders. The author of Teraev, has reported in some ways from Salabi who is a Bakari and Umari commentator, the explanation of the verse. 
and hold fast by the covenant of Allah altogether and be not disunited. 3, 103. The Holy Prophet, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, said. O people! I am leaving behind me for you two great things, who are my successors and caliphs among you. If you will adopt them, and will act accordingly and follow them, you will never go astray after me. One of them is greater than the other. The greater one is, the book of Allah that is a rope stretched from sky to earth, and another is my Ahlal Bayt, Alayhima Salam. These two will not be separated from one another, until they come to me on the Hausi Kaus Sar. Ibn Asir has, in Jamil Oasul, which is in vogue among the Bakris and Umaris, has quoted Tirmizi wherein, it is mentioned that Jabir ibn Abdullah said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam, giving a sermon on the back of a camel on the day of Arafat. He was saying that, I am leaving among you a thing which, if you will cling to it, you will never go astray, and it is the book of Allah and my progeny, who are my Ahlalbayt, Alayhima Salam. Similarly, from Sagim Tirmizi or self-called Sahih, Zayd ibn Arkham is quoted saying that the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam, said, I am leaving for you a thing, which if you will keep hold of, you will never go astray after me, and those two things, which are greater and higher than one another. One of them is, the book of Allah which is a rope drawn from earth up to the sky, and another one is my progeny who are my ahlal bayt, alayhima salam. These two will never get separated from one another, until they arrive to me on the Hausi Kausar. So, just think how you will act for me, on their matter. Ebni Babawe has, with reliable chains of narrators, quoted Ebni Abbas saying that, the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam, said, A man who believes in my religion, and who acts according to my way, and who follows my tradition, should also have faith in the twelve true Imams from my Ahlalbayt, Alayhima Salam, who are the best in my entire Ummah. Certainly their example in this community of mine is like Bani Israel's Babi Hitta. The Hezrat has also been quoted in Oyun al-Akbar, with reliable chains of narrators that, the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam, said, Among you the example of my Ahlalbayt, Alayhima Salam, is like the Ark of Nu. Whoever sat in this ship, following the Ahlalbayt, Alayhi Salam, got salvation, and those who turned their face from them, will be beheaded, and thrown into hell fire. This same tradition has also been quoted in Nihaya by Ibn Asir, a great Bakari and Umari scholar. It is written in Sahih Fatur Riza, as Ayashi has quoted, in explaining the verse. And when we said, Enter the city, then eat from it, a plenteous or food wherever you wish, and enter the gate making obeisance, and say, Forgiveness or Hitta. 2, 58. Imam Riza, alayhi salam, said, For you, the Babi Hitta are we. Please bear in your mind that. There is difference of opinion about the entrance to Babi Hitta. What is prevalent, is that the period of tea, ended forty years after the death of Moses, alayhi salam. His legatee, Yushat, alayhi salam, brought Bani Israel, in the city of Ariha, for fighting against the community of Amal Legat. Ariha is in Syria. When they conquered Ariha, and killed Amal Legat, and won the country of Syria, Allah ordered them to enter Ariha with humility, bowing their heads and reciting repentance as mentioned in the Holy Quran, too. 58. Many commentators have said that, what was meant by bowing, was to bend, and to show humility, and that the meaning of, hit aton, was to say Allah, forgive our sins. They say that, their sin was that they had defied Moses's command to enter Ariha, because of which they had to suffer many calamities. They have quoted Ibn Abbas that hit aton means, la ilaha illallah, and that the meaning of, sanazi dol mosinin, is that very soon, we will increase the reward of their good deeds, and that, those who wronged themselves and altered what was told to them, 
they did not bow and dragged their beds while sitting thereon, and that instead of saying, Hitta, uttered to mock Allah, Hanta, that, they want red-colored wheat. So, Allah made them suffer darkness and plague, and seventy thousand of them died in one hour. Thereafter, Allah showed mercy to them, and removed the epidemic from them, as he says in the Holy Quran. We sent chastisement from the sky on those who indulged in offenses. 2. 59 In short, the example of Ahlal Bayt, Alayhima Salam, is like that door, because they are Babola, that is the gates of Allah, and one who enters the gate of their following, gets relief from the punishments of both this world and the hereafter, and the one who turns away from accepting their imama, and does not follow them, gets destroyed and becomes misguided, and is punished in the worst manner in both the worlds. As it has been mentioned in the tafasir of the word imam that, Allah has showed the pictures of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam, and Ali, alayhi salam, on the gate of that city, and commanded Bani Israel, to bow by way of respect as has already been mentioned earlier. Imam Bagir, alayhi salam, said, Amir ul mamanin al imam Ali, alayhi salam, said that, Allah had fixed Babi Hitta for Bani Israel and, O community of Muhammad, for you, he has fixed the door of Ahlal Bayt, Alayhima Salam, and you have been ordered to follow them, and to adopt their ways, so that, he may forgive your sins, and may give a greater reward to those of you who do good deeds, and your Babi Hitta is better than Bani Israel's Babi Hitta, because their door was made of some wood planks, and we are the truth tellers, and we are the faithful, the guides and higher and loftier. As has said, the Holy Prophet, Sal lal aho alayhi va alayhi va salam. The stars are the sanctuaries in the sky for the sky, and my ahlal bayt, alayhimas salam, are sanctuaries for my ummah. They will not be destroyed in the world, because of being misguided so long as anyone from my ahlal bayt, alayhimas salam, is there whom they will be following in their manners and behaviors. Likewise, the Holy Prophet, Sal lal aho alayhi va alayhi va salam, has said, Whoever wants to live like me, and to leave the world like me, and to reach the tree which has been planted by Allah with his hand of might, and about which he has said, Be and it was, and who wants to reside in the paradise of Adan which has been promised to me by my Lord, should adopt, the vilaya of Ali, alayhi salam, and accept his imama, and be a friend of his friend, and an enemy of his enemy, and adopt the vilaya of his graceful sons after him, who are always obedient to because they are created from my essence, and because Allah has granted them my knowledge and wisdom. So, woe unto those people of my Ummah who deny their grace, and who may not maintain the respect of their rights. May Allah not grant them my intercession. The Hadith Safina has been recorded by Sayyid in Tarawif, from the book of Ibn Magaz Ali Shafi, in many ways from Ibn Abbas, Salmat Ibn Aqwa, Abu Zar, and other and the tradition of Hitta, has been narrated by Soleim ibn Kays from Malana Amir ul Mamanin Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam, and he has told the Hazrat, I have heard this tradition from more than a hundred scholar companions. Ibn Babawe has, in Amali, an Ekmal din narrated from Ibn Abbas that, the Holy Prophet, Sal lal aho alayhi va alayhi va salam, told Malana Amir ul Mamanin Ali ibn Abi Talib, Alayhi Salam. O Ali! I am the city of wisdom, and you are its gate, and entrance to a city is not possible save through its gate. He who is your enemy, is lying in his claim that, he loves me, and he who is your friend, is my friend, because you are from me and I am from you, your flesh is from my flesh, and your blood is from my blood, and your soul is from my soul, and your inner is my inner, and your outer is my outer. You are the Imam of my Ummah after me, and you are my successor and my Caliph after me. Lucky is he who obeys you, and unlucky and stone-hearted is, he who disobeys you, and fortunate is, he who adopts your Vilaya, and the loser is, he who maintains enmity with you, and he has attained salvation who does not detach himself from you, and destroyed is, he who gets separated from you.
you and your sons are like the Ark of Nuh after me. The one who wrote it, gained salvation, and the one who defied you, got drowned. You are like the stars in the sky. When one star faints, another takes its place, and it will continue like that, till the day of resurrection.